Board members at uh, Big Walnut, they could decide the future of sports for the district. Some of those board members raised concerns about the OHSAA's policies for transgender athletes, and now parents and students are speaking out. NBC4's Matthew Herchik has their reaction and what the decision could mean for athletes going forward. The Big Walnut Board of Education has a special meeting set for later tonight. The renewal of their OHSAA membership is on the agenda. I do have concerns. I think it's taking away everything we fought for for our daughters. These were the comments from Big Walnut School Board members last Thursday that sparked fierce backlash from some parents and their students. I guess I really need to know where we stand on that as having a granddaughter who is on the soccer team, and wanting to protect her from any issue that might involve a transgender coming into the um, dressing room and causing great stress and fear. Three of the five board members admitted to having concerns regarding this, the OHSAA's five-page policy on transgender athletes. The biggest concern for us is that you know, their questioning indicates that maybe they wouldn't renew and what that would mean for all of our students. These kinds of situations are judged on a case-by-case -case basis, and I don't know what more you can ask for. A, bl a blanket rule wouldn't work for this situation. The board ultimately decided to postpone discussions on the renewal of their membership, with a vote expected to take place on Wednesday. While they say it was a time issue, um, they needed more time to discuss for what. There's only two options. We either renew or we don't. Without an OHSAA membership, the school district would be ineligible to participate in state-run tournaments. Danielle Russell's son plays football for Big Walnut. She and Jackie Seekman are among the many parents now expressing concerns for the future of sports in the district. I have an eight-year-old who is getting really into lacrosse, and it's fun to see her excitement grow, and we love Big Walnut. But if sports aren't a part of the future, I don't know if we will be either. With students saying that their only focus is the competition on the field. Students, we're just interested in our ability to continue to play sports, to continue to compete in the OHSA, to participate in state tournaments. And again, tonight's Board of Education meeting is expected to begin at 630, and it is open to the public. Local for you in Sunbury, Matthew Herchick, NBC4.